because Easter has its way of finding everybody, but it sure found us today at Jubilee. About 40 of us gathered outside around a fire on the labyrinth, and we shared stories of resurrection. We had a communion meal of bread and juice and smoked fish around the fire, and and robins sang, and it was as if all of creation was with us to celebrate resurrection, new life, and it was, it was fantastic. And there was pancakes and eggs benedict and all manner of food stuff. And then we gathered for 1030 worship. And there was saxophone and trumpet and piano. And, and when the saints go marching in, sung with such vigor that the walls all but shook. And there was the flowering of the cross as we, as we celebrated new life and the beauty that comes to us sometimes in very big loud ways and sometimes in soft quiet ways the beauty that comes at easter that promise that there is more quite simply there is more more than we know more than we imagine we heard the choir sing passionately about mary coming to the tomb to encounter the risen Christ. We heard it read from John's Gospel. We heard other testimony from the apostles. And then in an effort to preach Easter, I spoke not of the victory that Easter is for so many people, or it seems to be in our culture, the victory. Our, our guy is number one. Our God wins but instead to talk about the truth of Easter. When Jesus emerges from the tomb, he doesn't take a victory lap. He doesn't go to all those who doubt it and say, eh, hey, hey, told you so. No, he goes to those who are hurting, to those who are lost, to those who are confused, to those who need to know that there is more, that there is life. He goes first to Mary, whose life has been shattered, having lost the person who meant so much to her. And we can understand that. Many of us who have lost people who are close to us. And Jesus doesn't, doesn't come to her and, 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 and put everything back the way it was. She becomes aware of Jesus' presence. She knows that Jesus is not God, and yet Jesus won't stay with her. Jesus has other things to do. But he does assure her that there is more than death. He does assure her that love matters life goes on and that there is direction he helps her inspires her to find new life jesus resurrection allows mary to be resurrected so too for the apostles or the couple on the road to emmaus so too for many of us when we take the easter story seriously and recognize that that there is resurrection on either side of the grave when we think of those who we have lost, who we carry in our hearts, to recognize that there is life for them, but as much there is also life for us. So often we just want to give up when the one we have loved is gone. And then we talked a little bit about what it is that we do that brings us to that point of resurrection, to recognize resurrection, and that is to follow the example of Jesus, which is to love recklessly and passionately, to, to dare to pour out our lives for others. To know that God never gives up. That love triumphs. That God continues. That new life happens again and again. That's the Easter invitation for new life. And so that's what we spoke today that's what we sang today that's what we danced today that's what we shared today and i hope that you get to share the same thing the truth of easter is resurrection it's new life and the path it's jesus Nonviolence, love forgiveness 
reckless, reckless, passionate love and faith that God is always with us. A blessed Easter to you. He is risen. He is risen indeed. And may you also rise. Hope we get to see you soon. God bless.